Ailey. Take me back there a few minutes to lifting the cup. What, what did that mean to you as a girl from Dunamine? Oh, it just means absolute world. I joined Dunamine, um, I think it was eight years ago, and I never, ever thought I'd be captain of the team. And it just means so much. It's a dream come true, really, to lift the cup on behalf of those girls. They're a fantastic bunch, and it's just fantastic, really. <laughs> And you could see what it meant to them to be back at the top? Oh, it meant everything there. It was nearly like winning our first one again. Um, everyone just wanted it so much. We pursed and pursed and pursed, and it's the best I've seen done in mine play all year. So, But we knew we had to be up at our top, the top of our game to beat Thurman, and it was just a great night to win it. Yeah. The mine are back. It's great. Yeah, delighted. Do you know, I think last year, well, I wasn't playing last year because I was pregnant, so it was very hard to stand on the line last year and watch, you know, the girls lose, whatever. But um, the luck wasn't with us last year. We were probably unfortunate. So this year we said we were just going as hard as we could. We wanted it back. Last year in the final, Geraldine famously got four goals. You were sin in the last ten. It wasn't a great day. You've come back this year and Geraldine didn't get a sniff. You really got your tactics right yourself and, and as a team. Yeah, oh, she got the first point now, but <laughs> uh, no, look, we knew we just had to work hard as a team and that's probably one of our main strengths. When we play well, we actually play really well as a team and when we don't, you know there's a few individuals that would stand out and, and last year we didn't work hard enough as a team and today we did it and it, no matter if Geraldine McLaughlin scores four goals, uh, yes, I would take a lot of the blame and but a lot would be lay on the team and then today when she got just the one point a lot of that is down to the hard work of the girls out the field and we really worked hard today so I'm delighted now that we have the cup back. How did you deal with the threat of Geraldine Midlothan? I suppose last year she kind of got in a few goals that we should have probably handled better and uh, we knew that she was going to be the main threat this year we knew that if we had stopped if we stop her and stop the ball getting into her then we'd have a good shot at winning it and Sharon Courtney was phenomenal on her she just never gave her an inch she was the best I've seen Sharon play all year as well and it was great to see it out there today and the likes of Fiona Courtney coming back Rosie and Brian Gig and everyone just kind of crowded out the defence once we got on top of them we kind of we could do that we could get we could drop one or two more girls back to kind of sweep up in that area so it just worked out for us today thank god i have to say like from an early stage i thought you were going to win i thought you were you had the game sorted you had your game plan right i had game plans we don't have game plans and that is like Kilkenny in the hurling like we really don't do game plans it's just we go out and we work hard for each other and that was it today and you've seen there the girls getting the blocks and the tackles in and it every single one every single player got some hand in at some stage and it really really was a true testament to the hard work of the girls and the focus they had going out today and um we really worked hard for that full 60 minutes and when things were going against us there in that second half when we did lose the, the players were down, we were down and kind of things were all over the place but the hard work was still there and, and that's what shone through in the end. I suppose from the very start we knew we had to start well and then we could push on from there and we did get that good start and I knew that we weren't going to let our performance drop but you can never be so sure of yourself against a team like Term and the, last year they scored four goals in the Sunday Ulster final and we thought we probably had it um, and then they came back and scored two goals so you're determined but you have to be cautious about it as well you can never sit back and relax and I think we all did that today we never we never let up until the very end even though we were seven eight points ahead we still pushed on and we knew that we couldn't sit back. What was the difference? between this and last year apart from the fact there were a load of goals last year and none this year but what was the difference from your point of view well listen we probably we probably like I wasn't you know um, we probably left the space and Geraldine you know they probably had the work rate they had the hunger that we had the year before to win the Ireland and they had it last year and probably out there they said that a few injuries and stuff like that but they maybe hadn't the same hunger as they had this time last year than what we had the girls and you know as they said the, the captain said there our chairman they there this year and that was the extra the extra boat the extra incentive that they needed and they weren't going to let him down and you could see it out there in the field you don't play county anymore you're in the family way you were out last year but you're back now what does it mean to you to win this with your club oh it's amazing do you know i i kind of thought I was going to retire whenever I got pregnant last year and I decided I was going to retire and then this year after we lost our chairman and I kind of made him a promise to come back so you know I was going to keep that promise and it's just amazing to be back like I love being back and when you're fit to play I think play as long as you can and you know it's just amazing to be part of it when I was away I missed it and I'm just delighted to be back and delighted to be winning.
correct, you know. And then with a chance of an All Ireland now. Yeah, like I know you can. You know, we didn't look ahead of this game. This was the game we were thinking of. Obviously, All Ireland champions, and um, you know, we were we were up against them, and we were there to knock them down. And uh, but now we'll take the next game. I think we're going to London maybe next weekend. We know nothing about that team, so it's literally we'll take that and, and, and we'll take it from there. Oh, you have a wee trip to England. Looking forward to that one now. I think it's the first time it's ever been in the senior competition, so we'll relish that and our intermediates are out next weekend, so it'll be a good weekend for Dunamine ladies, hopefully now. Now, we had a lovely day with the sun, but it's a fantastic venue for an Ulster final. Absolutely. Uh, we, when we were told during Killy Clower, like we didn't know where it was, and then we pulled up on uh, it's brilliant facilities, and um, I don't know now, like it's you could nearly see it's like a county ground because of the facilities that are here. Pitch was in perfect condition. It was something we spoke about during the week with the rain and stuff, that the pitch mightn't be in good nick, but this pitch was in top order, and uh, the facilities, the dressing rooms, everything is top-notch. Yeah, so fair play to Killy Clower.